Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at how, for the first time, scientists fully sequence the human X chromosome. If you're new to this channel, welcome! This is Mr. Singularity, where we explore the scientific and technological breakthroughs shaping the future as we know it. Be sure to stick to the end of the video and like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss any one of our videos. As once a month, we share a community prize that's exclusive to our subscribers, giving away some interesting prizes. It's only up for a few hours though, so keep a lookout. And without further ado, let's get into it. The sequencing of the human genome has been one of the greatest scientific features of the past century. But it is a little known fact that it is still an ongoing work with significant gaps. New research suggests that we could be only months away from finishing the job. Nearly two decades after the first map of our genome was published by the Human Genome Project, large sections still remain which are a mystery to us. Scientists have been slowly filling in the holes, but for millions of base pairs, those parts that contain repetitive sequences have long been seen as intraceable. That's because most common technologies of gene sequencing produce short snippets of DNA that must then be stitched together. It becomes almost impossible to distinguish the pieces when applied to these highly repetitive sections, so putting them back together in the right order is extremely difficult. Imagine having to reconstruct a jigsaw puzzle, said senior author Adam Philippi from the National Institute for Human Genome Research, NHGRI, in a press release. When we are working on smaller pieces, each one has less context to figure out where it came from, especially in parts of the puzzle with no unique clues. Like a blue sky, the same holds true for human genome sequencing. The pieces had been too small until now and there was no way to put together the hardest parts of the genome puzzle. But that is evolving now. In a paper published in Nature last week, the researchers describe how they have used a cutting-edge approach known as nanopore sequencing to tackle some of the genome's previously inscrutable sections and produce the X chromosome's first-ever gapless sequence. Nanopore sequencing works by passing DNA molecules through a tiny hole and measuring the change in electric current running across the surface of the hole to work out the base pair sequence in the molecules. It's able to create ultra-long DNA sequences, unlike previous approaches. That was enough to fill many of the gaps in the genome, but there was still a problem in a region known as centromere that encompasses around 3.1 million base pairs of highly repetitive sequences. Fortunately, the team has been able to find a idosynetric sequence that could act as markers to link multiple long reads together to span the whole centromere. To ensure the X chromosome was as accurate as possible, the researchers combined nanopore sequencing with results from a further two gold standard sequencing technologies and genome mapping approaches. The result is more than 99.9% .9 accurate, which is considered sufficient to call the finished sequence. It could provide invaluable for biomedical research to fill the gaps in the human genome. We're beginning to find that some of these regions where there were gaps in the reference sequence are actually among the richest for variation in human populations. So we have missed a lot of information that could be important for understanding human biology and disease, said lead author Karen Miga of the UC Santa Cruz Genomics Institute in a press release. And while the entire X chromosome is the paper's piece in the resistance, the team reports that they have extended their method to the whole genome and have managed to reconstruct a variety of other chromosomes. They aim to produce a whole human genome by the end of this year. It remains to be seen what mysteries reside in place in these unknown parts of the human genome, but uncovering them will be a major step in truly understanding our own genetics. If you made it this far in the video, thank you and welcome to the end of the video club. What's your take on this? Let me know down in the comments below and check out one of these other videos. This has been Mr. Singularity and I'll see you in the next one.